build a remote cabin, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Hi, my name is Joey and welcome to our remote cabin build. This spring we bought 30 acres of completely off-grid land in the deep north woods of Maine. We're trying to put a cabin up before the snow falls. This is my interpretation of the most effective, simple, and affordable cabin that I can build. Welcome to Practical Forest and Farm. What's up? I'm excited to introduce my cousin Job to the channel. He's a master carpenter and he's going to be helping with all the framing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the hardest part of the day is going to be getting the actual materials to the site. That seems to be a really common theme in our off-grid location, but nothing's going to be cooler than a hidden cabin in the woods that's not really accessible by anything other than a footpath. Let's do this. A lot of you guys have asked in the comments why I don't rent an excavator and put a road into the camp. I want to give you my two reasons why I don't do this. The first reason is I'm trying to do this on a budget. This is an affordable and simple remote off-grid cabin build. If I wanted to throw unlimited money at this and rent the excavator and take the time to clear the road so I could pull my truck up to it, I think that that takes away from the remote aspect. I truly don't believe that you can have a remote property that a vehicle can pull up to. It just takes away from it. Now that we've got all the materials landed, we're gonna put an inside ledger board on this, put two more six by sixes sitting on the post to really sure up this foundation. Thanks everybody in the comment section for letting me know, I appreciate it. And then we're gonna be putting on the plywood under the bottom, throwing the insulation in, and then we're gonna be putting the Advantech on top. For the ledger board. Also, why black bits cost so much more than just regular set of bits. One ledger board down, one more to go. Hey everyone, meet Marty. This is my cousin's dog. He blends in like camouflage to the wilderness. Now that the ledger board's in, it's time to put the plywood on the bottom so we can pop the insulation in. This right here is going to be the second most dreaded part of the task. The first one was moving in the materials, now we got to crawl under this. One of the things that you have to do, like know about being remote is you gotta roll with the punches. We bought fancy mics so that everybody could hear us in crisp audio. And uh, I forgot one cord for the thing and I can't source it when I'm all the way out here. And so it's just one of those things that you gotta learn to be flexible about. I could sleep under this thing now. This is gonna be a big cabin, buddy.
the sun is setting, but we're definitely still burning. Um, <laughs> it is amazing to be at this point right now. The sun's just starting to go down, but we have uh, probably two hours of daylight left. We're going to push through. We're going to cut the blocks, block these joists just for a little bit more stabilization. This platform is so sturdy. I can't believe it. Um, it you can't shake it at all. And um, we're going to take the chainsaw. We're going to cut these six by sixes off. And we're going to put the insulation in and lay the Advantech flooring on. Hopefully by tonight. It's getting late. Let's throw some Advantech over this insulation. We'll come back at it first thing in the morning. Good morning. I hope you bought an extra blanket in the tent last night because it was freezing. It was like 38 degrees and uh, definitely didn't sleep the best, but ready to rear at it today. Today's a wicked important step. We're going to put on all the insulation and uh, we're going to put this Advantech over it. Everything out here takes twice as long because that's just remote building. That's the truth of it. Like if this was a house that I could just drive my truck up to, uh, this thing would have been already framed. But since every piece of material needs to be hand brought out, um, really makes the experience more mindful. You got to think of every single item you're going to bring out. This is something that's important to me and my family, and I wouldn't want to fly through this anyway. So for this to just go at the speed it is, I get to hang out with my family. We get to do our thing at kind of like a reasonable pace. I, I love it. I love it out here. Let's get this thing. Let's get this platform finally done, man. Part two of the video. Let's go. To hand up these last two pieces of flooring felt amazing. Not gonna lie, I believe that each one of those sheets is about 90 pounds. To bring them through was definitely a challenge, but to lay them on was so satisfying. Cousin Job, I want to thank you so much for making the five and a half hour ride up here and helping me move all the materials and really guiding this last part of the process. Without you, this dream couldn't have been achieved. Again, thank you so much. We look forward to celebrating and having you up at the land often. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching it.
I, I'm really trying to lay down the most simple blueprint that I can so that other people can get off grid and just really be out in nature and, and, and enjoy nature. The world is in such a weird dark time right now. I, I didn't want this to be the theme of my channel. I, I don't want this to become like it's a prepping channel, like uh, the end of the world's coming. But just if you think that you want to do this, if it's a dream for you to come out here and be off of the grid, if it's a dream to build something with your hands, to have a piece of your own land that you can do whatever you want to do on, I'm telling you, chase your dream. Like, we came up and looked at property for three years. That's called chasing the dream. We saved and just tried to be, like, thoughtful about what we were doing. That's chasing the dream. You don't have to have a 30-acre plot out in the deep woods of Maine to start chasing the dream. You can start chasing the dream right now. You start looking and you put together what you want to do and get an idea of where you want to be. Maybe you don't want to be up in the north woods of Maine. Maybe you want to be down in Florida. Maybe you want to be across the country in Colorado in the mountains. But like, I want to just say that this is totally doable. We do this in small money increments at a time and it just takes heart and it takes physical labor. And what's better than getting a workout while you're building a structure that's gonna hide you from the elements that's gonna take care of you and shelter your kids. This, we don't have a mortgage on this. Like, I don't wanna live like that out here. Like, I want this to be an experience that's unlike what I've had just growing up regularly. I'm just glad that I get to be able to chase this dream.